In this video, we're going to cover motion graphs and motion maps. So we're going to start with a position, position graph. And on a position graph, um, the slope of a position graph uh, tells you the velocity of the object. And the slope of the ve velocity graph tells you the acceleration. All right. Uh, and then if you look at the acceleration graph and you look at the area under the curve, when I say area, I mean the area uh, between the curve and the x-axis. So it could be under the curve or it could be over the curve. So that's why I'm doing the uh, quotes right there. Um, that will tell you the change in velocity. And if you uh, look at the area under the velocity graph, that will tell you the uh, change in position or the displacement. Okay, so now that we have that taken care of, let's take a look at some examples. Okay, so we're going to start with a constant velocity graph. It's going to be a straight line. And on a position graph, if it's a straight line, that tells you it's moving at constant velocity. So the slope of a position graph tells you the velocity. And so in this case, it's going to be constant velocity, so just a flat line. And it's positive velocity. It's going away from the origin. The acceleration is zero because it's constant velocity. And acceleration is defined as a rate at which the velocity changes. If the velocity is not changing, then the acceleration is zero. Next, we'll look at an object that is speeding up. So this could be like a ball rolling down a ramp. And uh, the velocity is increasing. It's getting steeper and steeper. And so it's going to look like that. The slope of this graph, you can see it's a positive slope right there, uh, and it's a straight line, so it's going to be a constant acceleration. So it's increasing, the velocity is increasing at a constant rate. Now let's take a look at uh, an object that is slowing down in the positive direction. You'll notice that the slope is getting less and less steep. So it's starting out with some velocity and it's uh, decreasing to zero. Uh, and notice it's a positive slope, so it's going to look like this. Now this is a negative, this is a negative slope, uh, so this is going to be a negative acceleration. Okay. Right, I want you to try to get a better idea of what we mean by positive or negative acceleration. So let's take a look at a motion map, also known as a dot diagram. Uh, so we'll take a look at this first one here. And let me go ahead and separate out these areas so they don't get um, mixed together. Uh, but when an object moves at a constant speed, the dot will be equally spaced. So you can think of a car that has a leak, gas leak. And if it's going at constant uh, speed, it's in dripping oil. Uh, then it's going to be the oil drops will be equally spaced. Okay. So these dots tell us it's going constant speed, but you can't tell if it's going to the right or left. So I'm going to draw an arrow to indicate that the vehicle is moving to the right. So these are velocity arrows, and, and those dots are motion map or dot diagrams, and the acceleration here is zero. Okay. So next, this one is speeding up. So imagine the car is speeding up. It's dripping oil at the same rate. And so the dots are going to get farther and farther apart. So they're real close, and then they're getting farther and farther and farther apart. These are velocity arrows, okay? And so the acceleration is positive. It's going to be in positive direction. Now let's say that the car is slowing down. When it's slowing down, the dots are going to get closer and closer together. So here you can see that dots are getting closer to closer, so we know it's slowing down. I'm going to draw in the arrow so you know what direction it's moving. And the acceleration here will be to the left, to the left. So when an object 
from an object's acceleration is in the same direction as the velocity, then it's going to speed up. When the acceleration is in the opposite direction of the velocity, it's going to slow, slow down. Okay, now we're going to look at a graph where the object is going towards the origin. So, quote unquote, backwards, but it's going to go towards the origin. And this, so this is a negative slope. Because it's a negative slope, um, that tells me that the velocity will be negative. Because it's a constant velocity, the acceleration will be zero. Now we're going to take a look at an object that's going in the negative direction, but speeding up. How do I know it's speeding up? Because these slopes, it's getting steeper and steeper. It's getting steeper and steeper. And it's steeper and steeper in the negative direction. It's a negative slope. So it's going to become more and more negative. Uh, and the acceleration, because it's a negative, uh, it's a negative slope here, it's going to have a negative acceleration. Okay. So just a quick, um, quick word about positive and negative slope. So when a slope is uphill, that's a positive slope. If it's flat, that's a zero slope. If it's going downhill, that would be a negative slope. Okay. So now let's take a look at the motion map for this. These are the dot diagrams. So because this is moving at constant speed, the dots are going to be equally spaced. And I'm going to draw arrows to indicate the directions of the object, the direction of the object. And these are the velocity vectors. And so the acceleration here is zero because it's moving at constant speed, constant velocity. Now this object is moving in the negative direction, uh, but is speeding, uh, is speeding up. So the dots are going to get farther and farther apart. So they're close, they're farther apart, farther apart. And the acceleration is also going to be in the same direction. It's going to be to the left. We have a negative acceleration here. So what does a negative acceleration tell us? It tells us that if the velocity is also negative, that it will be speeding. It will be speeding up. If the velocity is to the right and the acceleration is to the left, then it would slow down. So, in general, if the velocity and acceleration are in the same direction, it'll speed up. If the velocity and the acceleration are the opposite direction, then it'll slow down. 